Ita Alam is a mother of six. She has been living with HIV for more than 14 years now, and she says two of her children have autism. She says she works for the Macaulay City Administration, cleaning the city's corners, but has not received any salary for more than 10 months, putting her and her children in crisis, unable to afford food and medication. We have lots of problems because of the siege. I can't get medication, and I have two children with special needs. I used to work for the city, cleaning the streets, but now I have nothing, and I am unable to pay my rent. It I says both her and her children are malnourished, leading to the deterioration of her and her children's health. I'm in a terrible condition due to lack of medication. A doctor told me I'm malnourished and told me to eat better. What am I going to eat? It I says she longs for peace and has been overwhelmed by the magnitude of the humanitarian crisis in her community. I have nothing to prepare for the holidays this year. I pray for peace. I don't really care for the holidays. I didn't live a comfortable life even before the start of the conflict. But now everyone's in a dire situation. It breaks your heart to see this. Itai says the world has a responsibility to the people of Tigray, who have been living in a dire humanitarian situation for months, unable to access food and medication. The international community should assist the people of Tigray. It has to think of the children and the elderly. I never thought governments could block food and medication from reaching civilians. It's wrong. What's happening to us today will happen to others tomorrow. So the international community must stand up to it. Ita and her family are just one of the over 6.5 million Tigrayans going without food this Eastern holiday, as the Ethiopian government continues to block the delivery of much-needed aid into Tigray.